Hello Linux fans, Rob here and today we have a look at Deepin Desktop version 15.3 and we're going to look at this not through the Deepin OS made in uh, China, the distribution made in China. I actually had quite a few issues. Um, I got it installed and, and set up for the most part but I had issues there with uh, weird little things, sound, um, being able to use recording software and other software properly. Um, and and so decided the next best thing since Manjaro would be releasing the latest version of Deepin Desktop 15.3 that we might as well review that. The purpose today is not to cover uh, Manjaro, it's to cover the Deepin Desktop and the changes and, and the features that uh, make Deepin something to really keep your eye on as far as uh, desktops go. So with that said, um, we'll go ahead and launch into this. So there are many things that stand out immediately about Deepin and one of one of them just off the bat is the polish of the desktop. The icons are beautiful, they're striking. Uh, you've got a good selection of icons built in. We'll show that in just a minute. Uh, the launcher itself is uh, similar to GNOME 3. Uh, you have categories that you can toggle on and off. Uh, search is, is relatively fast. And uh, the other thing about Deepin is they have some of their own software built in. So you have Deepin Game, Deepin Movie, Deepin Terminal, Screenshot. Uh, I had read where Calendar, that uh, Calendar was going to be available. It is not showing up here. Um, or, um, well, let's just do a search here. And uh, no, there, this is not available yet, but my understanding is, is that is uh, also on its way within uh, Manjaro Dip Deep in Community Build. Say that fast ten times. Um, so anyway, we'll we'll see that uh, hopefully in the future. And then there are some other things that stand out immediately with um, Deepin, and and one of those is what they can they call Control Center. And so if we go to the, I guess you'd say home screen of the Control Center, you're going to see just you know well laid out intuitive polished icons that easily explain to a new user what it is you're getting into so user accounts display default applications on and on so if you click on one of those you now have an icon menu to the left and your options or settings for that particular icon are uh, then on the right so here you can go in and change um, your photo or icon for your user info. You could uh, toggle on or off auto login, change your password. Uh, here you can get into your uh, monitor settings. So if you have multiple monitors, this isn't, I mean, this works. It works well. It's fairly intuitive. There's a few little things where, like, you've got to click the little arrow here on the right actually to get into that menu um, as opposed to clicking here so if you just if you didn't happen to see that or think about it you may not be able to access uh, custom settings uh, then you can get into default applications here so a, a nice list of, of uh, brow you set up your default browser mail etc all the way down to uh, to camera music player and I really think they've done a nice job too with personalization so they um, for a new user uh, this is very simple it's not as detailed as you might find in other desktops but here you could change your window look you can change your icons it's really a nice selection of icons we're on the default deepen uh, icon now uh, but these are well done icons and then you can go in and change your cursor theme your fonts, so uh, very intuitive, and your Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth connection, sound, and I've had a little issue, a few issues with uh, the setup in this, but for the most part, um, I think people are going to be able to figure this out. It's not as in depth as you can get with other desktops for sure. Uh, time, calendar, you can adjust those settings. Toggle 24-hour clock off or on. Uh, change your time zone. Uh, power here you can choose what will happen um, when you shut the uh, lid on your laptop or uh, you can toggle on or off password for waking the computer or the display and you can also right here easy to find uh, you can change your suspend time so one minute up to 30 minutes or excuse me one minute up to one hour or never and um, 
you know that's not always easy to find in the settings but it is here uh, mouse settings keyboard settings function keys and then let's just pop this up and this may be hard for you to read uh, this is again it says deep in desktop 15.3 running on Manjaro Linux 1608 so when I first installed this I had a fairly large update of about 366 packages I believe part of that update was the new deep in desktop so it offers some changes that people have been asking for so if we come down here to the panel and we right click on an empty space we get some options so you have mode you have fashion mode efficient mode uh, used to have three options there and I think they decided that efficient mode which causes your panel to uh, spread out to the full width of the desktop the other option was I think it was uh, I don't remember the name maybe task and all it was was a smaller version of what we see here so um, this still allows you to add different icons to your panel your launchers over here uh, they're going to have to tweak this out because when you enlarge the panel the icons over here all remain the same so and you lose a little functionality and I'm not going to step through this for the sake of time um, but I think there'll be some updates that will change that another option you have and this was one that was I know requested by many people is you can now change the location so you can go to the top which I prefer but you also have um, left and right so if you're used to uh, the Unity desktop, there you go. So you put it over to the right. Now, I'm not sure what happens to the control panel when you do that. Okay, so it covers it. So that may be good to know. All right, so we're going to put the location back to the top. Now, you also have another option. You have three sizes, and that wasn't there before either. So you've got large, which we have selected now, medium, that's probably a pretty good setting for that and small not a whole lot of change there I wish really what you had here was the ability to incrementally adjust that out say you know 28 to 30 to 32 so on and so forth but hey we'll take this for now I'm going to set that on medium so that uh, actually we'll set that yeah to medium hopefully you can see that in the video fine and then status so you can um, choose whether or not you want to uh, keep the panel static and and um, keep it shown at all times you can keep it hidden and then select smart hide where it'll hide after a period of time you you take your cursor up into the uh, panel area and it'll pop up so I think these are really nice uh, and, and I know that they were requested uh, changes for the deepen desktop the other thing I want to point about point out about deepen their uh, their own Develop, I guess they have developed these. I, I'm, I'm assuming that. I haven't, so I, I haven't read that. I, I don't know that for sure. But my understanding is they have developed these applications uh, specifically for the Deepin desktop environment. And so uh, I'm going to pull up files here. This is a just. It's gorgeous. It's just as polished and attractive as the rest of the desktop environment is. Um, you have settings over here to go in and choose uh, one click, toggle the sidebar off or on, uh, search preview, those kinds of things. And just well laid out, clean, um, just what you want to see. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time digging into that to see what changes there may be in this newer version. But just, just a quick glance here, uh, very intuitive, very polished. Have I said polished enough? And then their um, their screenshot uh, app. So it's it's different. So uh, I don't know how this is going to work with video recording, but we will see. So really, you have no menus until you actually select something, and then all of your menus are here on the bottom. So um, and then we'll just pop up terminal. It's kind of transparent. I would like to see the calendar. Uh, they have their own music pl or movie player they also have their own music player uh, let's see here they have deepen game which um, if you go into um, deep deepen software manager on the um, deepen OS I'm going to call it it's probably one of the most attractive well laid out software managers you're going to find it looks it's reminiscent of something you'll see in Android 
um, and I haven't messed around much here in deep and game and I'm you know I'm a little apprehensive as to whether I would pull anything down from here I just I'm not familiar with a lot of this but at any rate it's all categorized so if you're into strategy uh, we'll click on that it's also a little slow and I noticed that too with the uh, deep in software manager you don't have that problem within Manjaro uh, version but uh, within the deep in OS itself it's a little slow but you know you, you see the direction they're heading here with their own uh, customized polished software that matches just a, a, a well thought out clean interface uh, and it's definitely uh, refreshing to see this now I've got to say this. Deepin reminds me of of an old Italian sports car that I purchased. I purchased a, a Fiat Spider years ago, and the body style was, you know, it was had that nice Italian design. It was convertible, and it had a lot of character. and And um, you know, people commented, "Oh, wow, that's a that's a cool looking little car," you know. And it was, but it's when you got under the hood and you got into the electronics where you found okay looks aren't everything and I think that's really kind of the case with deep and I think it needs some time to mature and I think given that time that the deep and desktop will wind up being a, a definite contender in the desktop world of Linux uh, they've got I think a head start on the polish in a lot of areas and the, the intuitive layout intuitive features I think they have a head start there uh, I think the underpinnings are some of the areas where they need work you need I believe I think some of it's shallow as far as your control and if you're a person who likes to really get in and dig deep in the settings and do a lot of tweaking um, I think that that will come but it's not there now and I'm gonna leave it at that I'm also going to say if you want to experience the Deepin desktop, I am going to recommend to you, bar none, go ahead and download Manjaro Deepin Community Edition. Uh, with that, you will get in the update the latest version of Deepin desktop, and you'll get the stability and support of the uh, Manjaro slash Arch community. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm sure there's something I've missed. If, if that is the case and there's something you just have to see, let me know and I'll do my best to, uh, to get it posted for you or to reply uh, with an answer. And I hope this helps and we'll catch you later.